Hi there. Today we're going to have a look at the moon. And here we have the moon up in the sky. It's during the daytime. The moon is roughly about 50% illuminated. You'd call it, I guess, a half crescent moon. And looking at that moon, if you know anything about astronomy and such, you should be able to tell me which side of the moon the sun is actually on. And if you can't, I'll help you out with it. It's the side of the moon that's lit up that you can actually see. So it would be the left hand side of the moon that's lit up. So it would be the left hand side of the moon that the sun would be on. Which is over that way. So, in my hand I have a ball. I'm going to put it next to the moon up there. Well, I'll hold the ball out. It'll be next to the moon in the shot, but it won't really be next to the moon. And you'll see that the shot of the moon will look kind of similar to this ball. As far as the illumination of the ball and the illumination of the moon is concerned. So the moon is roughly 50% illuminated and the ball is roughly 50% illuminated. Actually both are a little less than 50% each. As you can see it looks fairly similar. Now if you were to repeat this experiment at any phase of the moon you will see that it is highly repeatable interestingly enough so those who say that the light from the sun does not illuminate the moon and it supplies its own light source somehow are highly probably incorrect so I hope this goes to show a few little facts and an experiment that you can do for yourself to prove that the moon doesn't provide its own light the moon reflects the light of the Sun and it should give you an idea of the distances involved also have a great day I'll catch you later